Hi and welcome to this SolidWorks tutorial to create a chocolate egg model and render the final design with a visualise. The DXF file used to create the egg pattern is available to download from the blog. You will need this to follow the tutorial. To begin, start a new part. Sketching onto the front plane, take the midpoint line and going from the axis, draw a 62.4mm vertical line. Then taking the spline, we're going to create the egg revolve profile. Sketch from the top of the line, add a control point around here and join back up to the line's endpoint. Now to add some dimensions, add a dimension to the line and ensure that this is 124mm total. Next, add a dimension for the width. This should be 44mm. For the height of the spline control point, make this 45mm. To make the profile more egg shaped, select the top point of the spline to make the spline handles appear and take the end point of the spline here, drag it up to make the line horizontal. You can input the exact angle of the spline handles here. For this handle, input zero for the angle. For the mid spline handle, this needs to be vertical. So input minus 90 degrees here. For the bottom spline handle, drag the handle in to make the shape more egg-like and then change the spline handle angle to 180 degrees. Now I can use revolve, selecting this axis for the revolution. I'm going to use the split tool to get half of the egg. I could have revolved the egg 180 degrees, but the shell operation doesn't seem to work this way. So selecting the right plane and split under features, select cut part. This cuts the egg down the middle from the right plane. Next, check the box next to body 1 here and ensure consume cut bodies selected so that when we OK the feature, we are left with body 2. Now to shell out the egg, change the shell dimension to 2mm and select the shell face here and just OK the feature. For the egg pattern, I created a DXF file based on the traditional chocolate egg pattern you would normally see. If you haven't already, you will need to download the DXF from the SOLIDWORKS blog. Before I bring in the DXF file, we need to add a new plane for it. Select in the right plane, reference geometry and new plane. You may need to flip the offset of the plane first, then space out the plane 50mm off the right plane. I'm also checking the flip normal box so that the plane faces outwards, making it easier to work with then OK the plane. With the new plane selected, go to insert DXF slash DWG, browse for the chocolate egg pattern and open the file. When the import options open, untick import as reference and select next. Change the unit of imported data to millimetres and select finish. The sketch should import centre to the egg like this. To use the wrap tool, a sketch must be closed first. So OK the sketch and select Wrap under Features. You will then be asked to select the sketch for the feature. Selecting the DXF, the wrap options will open. You need to ensure that the wrap method is on spline surface and the wrap type is on emboss. You can then select the outer face of the egg. A preview should appear like this. The thickness of the wrap I want is 0.4mm. So ensure that you input that here. Once that's done, OK the wrap. The half egg should look like this. I'm going to just hide the new plane as I don't need it anymore. Before I mirror over the eggshell, I'm going to soften the wrap emboss using fillet. Selecting fillet, change the preview type to partial preview. A full preview could slow you down. Then change the fillet dimension to 0.5mm and start by selecting all the full inner faces of the wrap pattern, ignoring all the outer edges of the shape for now. Once you have them all selected, double check that you have them all and OK the feature. Now I can fill it the other shapes. Again, keep partial preview on. That way you can see if the preview disappears that there's an issue with your fillet selection. 
For these shapes, I am only selecting the inner top edges. Don't select the edge along the join of the eggshell, as these will match up to create a shape once the shell is mirrored. Ensure you have all of them selected before okaying the feature. Here, I've selected the bottom edge of the shape. If you do this, just delete it from the selection and select the correct edge. I can now mirror over my eggshell. Selecting mirror, select this face of the egg for the mirror face. Then under bodies to mirror, select the eggshell. Do not merge these bodies as you want them to be separate parts. Then OK the feature. There we have a whole egg shape. Save the part as whole chocolate egg. Now to get the half chocolate egg for an assembly, I'm going to use save bodies. That way if any changes are made to the whole egg, they will apply to the half eggshell as well. Firstly, rename the fillet three body to half chocolate egg. Then right click onto the body and select insert into new part. Check the green tick when this opens. The half egg will open into a new part. Just click save when the save as box opens. Go back to the whole chocolate egg part and under file, select make assembly from part. Check the green tick to drop in the whole egg part. Right now the assembly's top plane is centre to the egg, but I want it to sit onto the plane. To do this, select Mate. Under the assembly drop down, select the top plane of the whole egg part and the assembly's top plane. Select the distance icon here and import a distance of 62.4mm. And flip the dimension so that the egg sits onto the assembly's top plane. With the egg in place, use insert components to bring in the half chocolate egg. You can use the XYZ rotate icons to rotate the egg so that it sits face up like this. And I can just drop it near the other egg. Selecting the mate icon again. Select the top face of the egg and the top plane of the assembly. Add a distance mate of 44.4mm. Flip dimension should be ticked with the half egg now level with the whole egg. With the egg mated I can just rotate it to where I want it in preparation for rendering. I'm going to bring in another eggshell and drop it into the assembly. Using rotate and move components I'm placing the other eggshell resting against the half shell and the assembly floor until it looks like this. Once I'm happy with the positioning, save the assembly. If you want to see how I rendered the eggs in Visualize, follow on with this tutorial. Go to the Visualize tab and select Export Advanced. When Visualize opens, I'm going to start with the rendering aspect ratio. Under the camera tab, change this to 16 by 9. Moving on to the environment, I'm going to select the back plate and hide it. Then selecting the environment, I'm selecting the blade studio. Or changing the background type to colour. You can make the background any colour you want. I'm going for a light cream colour. I also want to brighten up the render a little and rotate the environment lighting by 180 degrees. Moving on to the appearances, I need to go to the model tab and drop down the menu. Selecting both half eggs, right click, edit and assign new appearance. Under appearances, change the new appearance type to plastic. 
added the colour to a chocolate brown. With the current settings, the appearance does look chocolate-like. Selecting the colour appearance for the whole chocolate egg, change the appearance type to metal. Change the metal roughness to zero. I'm going to create the foil look using textures, but first I'm going to change the egg colour. You can use any colour you wish here. For textures, select this tab. For the bump texture, I'm going to use moulded plastic. I'm increasing the depth of the texture to 1.5, then scaling down the size of the texture tile to 2.5. Then selecting specular, open the splatter specular. This adds to the brightness of the texture. Change the brightness of the specular to 4 and the tile size to 10. If you zoom in, you can see the full texture like this. From here, I can duplicate the whole egg and use the position tools to move the copied egg into a new position. I also scaled down the egg and used a snap to floor to ensure that it was level with the other eggs. You can use the positioning tools to move other parts of the assembly around until you're happy with the layout. I can also rotate the egg into place so that the egg has a slight tilt. You can duplicate the egg foil appearance and change the colour before right clicking and copying it. From here you can apply it to the second egg model to look like this. I repeated the process for a third chocolate egg. Once the egg is in position I added a new colour to the appearance. You can then manipulate the render window until you're happy with the render preview. Save the visualised project first, then go to Tools and Render. Ensure you have Render Output selected and start rendering. Here are some renderings I made with the assembly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.